all right so there was this rich merchant that had two wives now wife number one was a soft nice and bubbly individual who couldn't hurt a fly even if she wanted to and wife number two was a straight up cunt now the merchant's wives eventually fell pregnant and gave birth to daughters that mirrored their personalities wife number one's daughter awe was more like her mother she was sweet as a peach and as kind as I don't know. A humpback whale? Wife number two's daughter, Ai, was more like her mother. So she was terrible. Like a dolphin without its sexual degeneracy. Now one day, Ai and her mother were chilling and doing things people of their level of toxicity do. So probably trolling terminally ill pediatric patients on twitter the two of them suddenly came to the conclusion that they didn't like wife number one enough to allow her to live so they hired an assassin to get rid of her the assassin does his job wife number one ends up dead and now awe is alone in this great big world to fend for herself or so they thought now remember wife number one was a good person so as a result she built up a lot of good karma in her life which allowed her to reincarnate into a golden catfish in her catfish form she had the ability to look over her daughter even after death but of course this didn't last very long you see wife number two and the daughter caught on to wife number one being a catfish and they promptly put an end to that because apparently scoot and fruity very addictive drug so they caught the golden catfish fried it up and served it at their family meal which means that they essentially served a mother to her child which is cartoonishly evil so after quite some time suffering in the same household as wife number two and Ai, Awe was lucky enough to get married to a rich prince he was taken by her beauty and good heart and just had to make her his so they ended up getting married now Ai heard of her sister's marriage to the prince and and the jealousy and entitlement she felt made her blood boil. Ai thought that she was the one that deserved to be married to the prince and live happily ever after in his riches, not Awe. So she inevitably came to the conclusion that like her mother before her, Awe had no business being alive. So she hatched a plan to get what she thought deserved to be hers. Ai hit her sister up and lied saying that her father was ill, knowing that Awe would drop everything and head home to go see him. And as soon as she was through the door, she fell into a pot of boiling oil essentially flying herself to death so with her sister gone the way of the chicken nugget Ai headed back to the palace and assumed her sister's place because she looked so similar to her sister she was able to pull it off initially but obviously once Awe's husband noticed her behavioral changes he called cap pretty soon eventually the beans were spilled and Ai was promptly arrested and executed Awe was brought back to life by a wizard and she lived happily ever after with her prince husband